Now you might be asking, what the heck is going on? Why is there art of you in this monstrosity, Larry Boy fanatic? Well, first off, good question. Second, I personally asked for a commission like this because I love the artist behind it. That art commission was made by the very talented Feed Fancier. Subscribe to his channel and tell him Larry Boy Fanatic sent you. He's one of my inspirations for my fan art streams, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I do these kind of streams. And now for the feature presentation, this! <laughs> Rather than do a review on the movie that this muscle-bound nut job is in, I'll do a character analysis that's a little similar to what I did with the Count Von Count. However, instead of this being a fun ride like the Count video was, this video is going to be a wild ride. So who is Drake? Not the rapper of the same name. So who is he? And why does he live in my head 24-7 rent free? For those of you who aren't familiar with the movie that this guy is in, well, Here's a little crash course of what he's about. So Drake is essentially a muscle guy with no brains. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I take it back. He's a muscle guy with a brain, but no morals. Yeah, that sounds about right. Though we gotta give credit where credit is due. That legendary voice actor Tim Curry voices this guy. In fact, almost everything Tim Curry touches, or almost everything that he's in, is voice acting gold. Well, almost everything, but yeah, as you do. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the film. Not good. A penguin named Hubie is in love with a girl penguin named Marina. Aww. Spoiler alert, this film gives them little to no chemistry. I mean, come on, we're supposed to be rooting for our hero, and yet we can't really invest in their relationship because of how bland this story is. Speaking of the story, guess who tries to get with the girl? And as a scummy way to make sure that he gets the girl, he throws Hubie off a cliff and assumes him to be killed off by a leopard seal. But in actuality, that's not the case, since Hubie teams up with another penguin named Rocco, to get back to Marina before there's a full moon or something like that. Oh yeah, and there's music, there's unexplained magic and stalling for time. It's anything and everything that a bad movie is. Trust me. So when in my life did I discover this creature from hell? Well, <laughs> funny story about that. I was about two years old, I think, when I caught this movie on VHS. Yep, that was when I saw the face of evil for the first time in my life. Yay. And ever since I was exposed to such an abomination, I grew up having nightmares, as well as having occasional thoughts about this guy and all that good stuff. But you know what? The truth is I might have ADHD because of him. I kid you not. And by some trick of fate, I was able to find this movie in the bargain bin at Sears. I think I paid, what, five bucks for that DVD? And it was just as strange as I had remembered. So now with my personal history out of the way, let's dive deeper. God, this is gonna suck. So we first meet Drake on the top of this hill with these other posers. Gosh, I don't even know why they're there. They, they just stand there. They stand there and they cheer him on or whatever. But anyway, this is where he describes his intentions on marrying Marina. Even to the point where he talks about having kids by her. God, this is too much. Even for the first few seconds of screen time. And this is how you want to introduce our character? Anyways, he throws a snowball to show off his dominance, which by the way... I don't know why he has to hold a friggin' snowball on the cover. Anyway, we meet up with Drake again when he confronts Hubie about wanting to marry Marina. Oh god, nope, nope, nope. Oh my god. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Okay, 
trying to get my thoughts together. Damn it. We're moving on. Oh god, there's a part where he's plotting and scheming with two scavenger birds in his lair. By the way, as much as I don't like this guy, his lair looks surprisingly good. In fact, it's insultingly good because it suits him. Anyway, I have a bunch of problems with this scene where Drake is talking and scheming or whatever he's doing. God, there's a lot of bones everywhere. First of all, he calls these birds his quote-unquote servants. Even though they only appear in this scene, and this scene only. And you know what? This leads back to the problem of why he has this posse, like, standing behind him. They do little to nothing. They serve little to no purpose. They're just there cheering him on and being like, ooh and ah, about, oh, this guy is muscular. Oh, this guy is strong. Oh, he wants to get with our female lead. Like, they're just there. Like, they just stand there and look amazed at this muscle-bound penguin that everyone and their mother wants to believe is a ripoff of Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. So what's the point of having servants when they don't do anything to further the plot? Second, what kind of penguin chews on a bone? I mean, he chews on that thing like a dog. Third, part of his cape goes missing. Which must suck if you're someone who pays so much attention to detail. I should know because I tend to focus so much on detail. And finally, as if his creepy speech about wishing his rival dead and wanting Marina for his own, the scene ends with him staring into your soul. Marina is mine. And you know what sucks even more is the transition. No, really. We go from a minute of hell into exciting music. I mean, how would you like it if I did this following a serious scene? Go ahead. Take the plot. <laughs> Time to go swimming! be confusing and stupid and I'll understand if you guys want to pause the video to make it look like he's staring into your soul which by the way why would you want to do that but anyway he later sings a song to Marina yeah typical Tim Curry when he's trying to get Marina to say yes to him it's just disgusting how he goes about that I mean he looks like he was about to punch her in that one scene and oh my gosh, he's manhandling her like a sack of potatoes. I mean, who defends this? He even kidnaps her off camera. No kidding. The movie doesn't even show him kidnapping our female lead. We only have characters talking about it. But yeah, he's hauling her into his lair. Uh, you know, Marina, the exit's that way. Yeah, the saddest part of the climax is that she takes her time escaping. She just stands there. I mean, if I was her, I would have gotten out of Dodge. Because screw that guy. Okay, so when does this nightmare end? Well, never it seems. Why? Because my mind is always all over the place. Like I said, I might have ADHD... So, having thoughts about Drake, among other things, have really screwed up my mentality to the point where I have these problems in my day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't say that I'm textbook case, but it's a theory. But regardless, Drake will always haunt me in my dreams until... Well, you get the idea. Believe me, this is one villain that you don't want to be associated with. Unless you're me, because my brain is like a mixed bag. You never know what you're gonna get. Marina is mine. Alright, how's it going? <clears throat> I don't want to sound like him. I'm not going to do like a impression or whatever, so. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... 
I honestly don't know why you would. <laughs> I'm still surprised, like, putting all this together with, like, with what I have. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And please subscribe to the channel. Because, yeah, this was painstaking for me to do. It's like, this guy has been my nightmare for so many years. <laughs> Alright, and if you want to support the show and make sure that I survive making this video mentally, physically, emotionally, you could always subscribe to my Patreon. A dollar or more will get you featured at the end of a video, and you'll also see sneak peeks of upcoming episodes, fan art, and all that shebang-a-bang before they go live. And you could also follow me at DeviantArt at LarryBoyFanaticYT. On that note, this has been your girl, Larry Boy Fanatic, the eyes and plunger ears of the Larry Boy Multiverse. See you guys. Can I take this off now?